2019 Callaway Apex Pro irons. These things look insane. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome. And second of all, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Make sure you put that thumbs up if you enjoy the content and make sure you hit those comments below. In today's video, comment how good do these things look. I must admit, I'm using my Mizuno JPX 919 Taurines at the minute and these things are the first things that have kind of turned my head a little bit in regards to look and especially feel. I have been out on the golf course, I've played with these irons this morning and it's fair to say they do not disappoint. One thing that I've particularly enjoyed is being able to shape shots with these clubs. I've been able to kind of start the ball where I want to, finish it where I want to. I have swung well today so that's obviously going to make a difference but I've very much enjoyed using these clubs. I've even practiced some chipping with them as you can see here, always nice to hold one, isn't it? They feel superb. Out on the golf course, these things sound superb, feel superb, look great in the bag. How do they perform up here in the studio, you ask? Just before filming this video, I was testing these. The Callaway Apex Forged Irons, so the non-pro version. The slightly bigger version. My plan today was just to do one big video with them as a bit of a mashup. But after playing with them, I soon decided these things deserve their own video. They are their own irons in their own right. And I'm also gonna have a video coming for you soon where I do compare them and just see which one would suit you better. Just a side note, these irons are also available in a split set. However, it's not just any old split set that you will get off the market. They are designed to both be finished the same, so you've not got one chrome one and one kind of non-chrome looking one. The lofts are also made more consistent, so you can split these sets if you want. These things are very good. If you've not watched the review, head over there and watch it and then come straight back here and catch this one. Now the Callaway Apex Pro is a two-piece forged iron that has allowed Callaway to ram all that technology that is in the Apex Forged into the Apex Pro with a little bit of a twist. These things feel so good. So good. So not only do we have the variable face thickness, that means that spin rate is going to be more consistent for the club that you're trying to play. We also have, in the Apex Forged irons, we have the 360 cup face, which means they're going to be more forgiving, more ball speed, and a lot more ball speed on off-centre hits. Now, Callaway are thinking, well, players, these are players irons, players don't need that in the short irons. So we still have the 360 cup face in the long irons, but we have a face plate in the shorter irons, so they're not quite as aggressive. Great idea! And I cannot tell you how good these look down at the ball. Initially this morning I put them down and I thought, ooh, that's a short blade length, isn't it? But you soon get used to that, very much so. These things are long as well, really long. Let's start to wind up through the gears. Let's go six iron. So we're now using the six iron, as you can see on this image that I've brought up on the screen now. The six iron includes the face cup, whereas the short irons include the face plate that we spoke about earlier. Also now you can see the difference in the tungsten weighting, where they have it, where they hide it, where they put it in different clubs to create different launch angles, different spin rates, different ball speeds. Oh, Callaway, get me to the lab. One thing which I like about the pro version is very little offset. Love the look of that. Now when I was playing with these clubs earlier, I did hit a few kind of real bad strikes. You know, like not just poor ones, but bad ones. And you sort of get away with it a little bit. Obviously, a golf club's a golf club. You're only going to get away with so much, but for a player's iron, you did okay. I mean, the massive talking point for me here is just how soft they feel. To get this amount of technology in such a soft feeling club, very good.
I mean, apart from that last swing, what about that for dispersion with a six iron? Pretty consistent. Okay, moving up into the four iron now, we have just a gnats of offset, just a little bit, just to help you make sure you don't leave it out to the right there. Very, very, very toey, very toey. And it's shown. That is short. That was better, and we're back up at what I would expect, just over 200 yards. So guys, that is five shots hit with the Callaway Apex Pro 8 iron, 6 iron, and 4 iron. Feel and sound wise, hmm, I've been with them outside. Very, very, very nice. When I took these out to play today, I even tried picking a few trajectories, trying to play a few stingers with the 4 iron. I think I'm in love. These things are very, very nice. But how do the numbers show up? How far do they go? Are they consistent? Does the variable face thickness work? What about the variable tungsten weighting in the head? Does, does that offer me the forgiveness in the four iron that I need? Let's find out. So guys, Callaway Apex Pro Irons. Let's start with the eight iron. Not great dispersion, not terrible. Looking over at the numbers here, the first strike was very toey, very poor. You can see how the distance does drop off and to be honest, that is exactly what I would expect. I wouldn't expect kind of insane distance on a mishit with this type of iron. However, the distances on the centre hits are massive. Averaging out at 164, which I mean, I mean very, very, very good. A, a tiny bit up on what I would expect to be fair from the Mizunos that I'm using at the moment. Spin rates, a tiny bit worrying there. They do pick up towards the end, so the better swings are, are a better spin rate, definitely. Averaging spin 6.3, tiny bit low. For this kind of club, I would expect that more, at least in the sevens. What about if we move up clubs and go to the six iron? Distances, pretty consistent there. That is very, how consistent is that? Averaging 1.89, that is a big six iron. And I'm staggered by the consistency of all those shots, to be fair. Spinning, pretty good. A couple of low ones, which is gonna bring the average down, but. Those ones at kind of five and a half, that's exactly what I would be wanting to see there. Average spin, bang on five, so ideally that would be higher for the six iron. Again, close to the 6,000 number, five and a half, I would be taking, but that is a little bit low. What about the four iron, the big dog? Interesting. I didn't swing my best with any of these, to be fair. I mean, the, the one at 215 was obviously a decent swing, but Average distance 199 with the four iron. And if we look at the six iron, 189, so only a 10 yard difference there. And I must admit, I felt like I hit that poorly throughout. As opposed to actually, on the golf course, I didn't feel as though the four iron was that little forgiving. To be honest, I hit a couple of poor ones out there. I mean, I guess this is telling you how my swing is with the four iron at the minute, but I felt like it went the distance. I didn't feel as though it was a massive issue. So when I was playing the trajectory shot, struck it really nice, it went the distance, it was perfect. Shot shaping with these clubs is an absolute art. It is beautiful, it feels great. It feels like they are designed to be shaped. Took some wonderful divots with these clubs. Turf interaction, beautiful. Guys, if you are in the market for a player's club with that little bit of forgiveness, I cannot speak highly enough of these clubs. If you want to mix the set, you want that little bit more forgiveness, which it looks like I might need, you can get the Apex Forged in the same chrome finish, so you have that option with the lofts matching up a little bit more. That's definitely what probably I think I would be going for, but you know what? These things look great, sound great, feel great. Distances are pretty impressive, aren't they? I'm gonna give these like a solid nine out of 10, to be fair, and I've never given a, a rating out of 10 before, so I don't know where on earth I've just plucked that from in my brain, but I, but I felt the need to do it for these guys. These are the first irons that I would actually consider swapping my Mizunos for, and that tells you pretty much how highly I think of these guys. So take that with a pinch of salt if you want. It is just an opinion. Make sure you go try these for yourself. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Leave your comments below, guys. What do you think to the Apex Pro irons? What do you think to the Apex Forged irons? If you want to see a comparison between these clubs, make sure you stay tuned, because that will be coming very, very soon. Apart from that, I'll see you soon.